we are here outside beautiful day park in hanoi and we are doing part two to my getting started with adobe rush on your cell phone i'm going to show you guys how to film a cinematic ish b-roll segment on your phone we're going to go into speed ramping which is part two because it's an effect that a lot of people are asking about it's usually the first effect people want to emulate where it's a slow motion effect or motion begins to speed up and slow down we're going to show you guys how to do that all on your phone now step one of this is pretty simple you need to be filming in 60 frames a second uh, for this i'm going to use the gcam mod to film at 60 frames a second with eis on the ultra wide of the xiaomi mi 10 but you could film in 1080p and for this tutorial it doesn't really matter that much just make sure whatever camera you're using films at 60p because we need to slow the footage down. Now, to get this kind of speed ramping effect, we're gonna need to choose a subject. And in this case, we're just gonna film my motorcycle. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. So in this case, I wanna show off the cool stitching pattern I have on the seat. We're gonna move the camera pretty slow and really close to it. Let's go. So as you guys can see, you want to move really, really slow over the item that you want to kind of show off. And then right at the end, you want to move the camera really quick. It doesn't really matter which direction you're moving it to, just make sure it's a consistent direction. Now, in this example, I ended that last shot with moving the camera to the right. So for the beginning of the next shot, we are going to transition into that video with a whip hand to the right. So look. I'm going to film a couple more sequences and you guys are going to see how I move the camera, combine that with slow motion to give us these cool transitions and these cool effects that you guys are used to seeing in more cinematic videos. Once you have a variety of shots put together, maybe seven or eight clips, now it's time for us to go head over to the mobile view and we'll continue this video inside. Okay, we're gonna open up Adobe Rush, click on this project. And if you guys haven't seen my first video about how to get started with Adobe Rush, click or tap this video over here. Now, this is what we have done so far. And just a reminder guys, this was all shot and edited on my Xiaomi Mi 10 no other computers or other cameras used to make this and i'm hoping that with this series of videos for you guys that uh, you guys can start shooting more videos and doing more stuff on your phones whether it be creating a youtube channel you wanted to do or just making a little family home video now what i did here is i have part of this clip speed ramped so that it slows down as it moves by the headlight to give the footage a more stable view. Now we can go ahead and just pick another clip. And let's just take a look at this clip before we shoot it, or before we edit it, I should say. Now what we can do with this clip is we can speed ramp this uh, one of a couple of ways. The first way is traditional speed ramping. We'll go ahead and we'll add this to the project. And what we will do is we will go ahead and just go into speed here at the bottom. We're gonna go into ramp. And then this gives us the ability to go ahead and cut uh, where we want the footage 
to start speeding up or slowing down. So you can use this over here to change how long of a ramp you want. So I want 0.25 of a second. I can go ahead and we can input that. And then over here, it's going to say how quickly we want the footage to be sped up right here at the bottom, right? And we're gonna move this slider to 50%. This way, the footage is moving, normal speed, normal speed, normal speed, then slow down. And then we can shorten this clip, long hold, press, And this is our nicely speed ramped footage to show this slow motion. Now, there's another way to speed ramp. And this is a little bit more advanced of a technique. Um, and this is something that you can do kind of normally if you're using the full version of Adobe Premiere on your computer, not just Adobe Premiere Rush. Do we want that? Okay, that footage is pretty cool. And we're gonna show you guys how to actually chop that footage up and make it really, really pop. So right here, we don't really have anything that we wanna show here, but we have a Honda logo part of the way through the clip. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this footage right before the Honda logo. Here is the scissors. Okay. Now we're going to speed up this entire first part of the clip speed range. Let's go 250%. So this first clip actually is pretty fast but let's speed it up even more to make this more dramatic. So now we have this first part of the clip sped up to 300%. And now I want to focus in on the Honda logo. So the next thing that I'm gonna do is chop this clip up here. And now I can just slow this clip down. Speed range. 50%. And now we have some cool movement into this slow down clip. And now the next last part, we don't really care so much about that footage. So what we're going to do to give it a really cool feel is we're going to speed this footage up to 300%. Uh, what did I do? 300%. Now, this is what our final product looks like, speed ramping this way. Well, this video is over. I'm gonna continue making these tutorials about how to make better video content on our mobile phones, even though it seems like no one is watching them. If you are watching them, or you do wanna create more mobile content on your device, let me know what you guys wanna learn more about in the comment section down below. And if you guys enjoy these videos, sharing them goes a really long way. Till next time, it's in Mitchell. Click on one of these videos over here to either watch a camera review or part one to this video. I'm waiting.